today we are going to be painting holiday Starbucks cups. I've grabbed myself two reds, a dark red, a bright red, and a green matte acrylic paint, and a selection of other tools, a ruler, something to sketch with, some white paint pens, a white paint marker, a white pencil, a Tombow, and a gray, and an acrylic paintbrush for my acrylic paints. I'm going to start by sketching a basic cylinder that's wider at the top and narrower at the bottom. I'm going to round out the bottom, but I'm going to go ahead and do a straight edge on the top. Then I'm going to grab myself a ruler and just really darken and define those lines so I have something nice to paint against that's straight. For the lid, it's three parts. The first flange and rounded corner extends just above my flat spot, and those edges extend outwards beyond the cup a little bit. The next ones have tiny rounded edges. It's a little bit smaller than that first flange. The last one is taller, starts more towards the inside of the cup, and has a nice rounded edge that's the opposite rounded from the bottom. Then I'm gonna grab myself a stencil. If you don't have a stencil to draw your center circle, that's fine. Grab anything you'd like to do or hand do it. I'm just smoothing out some of my lines with a little bit of water since I did them so dark uh, to make sure that they blend nicely in a moment. Then I'm going to come in with my green acrylic paint. I'm really just paying attention to those edges, trying to get them nice and round and smooth, and then blending the color inwards. I'm letting it be a little bit painterly and a little bit mottled. For the next part, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the red and work my way down. Again, paying close attention, slowly going on those straight edges. This is about where I realize that I find it pretty difficult to paint at this angle. So I turn my paper. Feel free to turn your paper and make it as easy for your hand as possible. Again, just paying attention to those straight edges and then blending inwards in the middle. I start with the outside and then I'm gonna work my way in to the circle. Again, paying close attention to working and going slowly on my edges. And I'm also blending out any brush strokes so there aren't any big lumps because I'm gonna be drawing over this in a few moments with some pen and I wanna make sure that I have a smooth surface. So then I come back in and I just darken any white spots just in case. So now I'm taking my Tombow, I'm drawing over some of those lines, just noting where I would want my shadows, which are on the edge and in those two middle lines. Then I'm taking a water brush, just blending that gray into the middle. If you didn't have a Tombow, you could totally use a gray watercolor or even mix yourself some gray acrylic paint. You just want to blend it out in the middle to create a gradient so that it looks like you have a shadow of a cup. Coming back in now with that dark red. I haven't mixed anything. The dark red is a little bit transparent and I'm laying it straight on top of my bright red. I'm going un where my shadows would be, under my cup lid and definitely along the left side of my cup then the bottom and I'm blending this out into the middle of the cup so that just the edges appear dark. On my right side, which appears to be left because it's upside down, I've done a little bit less paint. Now I'm making sure to blend out my edges so I have a smooth transition. And you can see I made a little mistake. We'll come back and fix that in a moment and that's quite all right. I'm making sure it's nice and dry for my next layer. I'm adding a little bit darkness right there on the edge, making sure that all of my corners are the darkest spots, especially along the left side so that my shadow would be kind of towards the front and right side for this cup. I've come back in with a little bit brighter red just because I got a little too much dark in there so I can blend out some of that dark. Now I'm gonna come back in with a white pencil and work on the girl in the middle. I've started with the shape of her head and then the hat that extends far beyond her head. I'm using the pencil just to get a general sketch in. I'm sketching at her eyes. Now I'm gonna start in with the white paint pen first 
and then go if I you needed to you could go back in with the green um, but I start with a small paint pen and then I'm gonna move to a thicker paint pen I'm just trying to define those lines and work my way there especially around the face if you needed to, you could definitely pop a little green back in here if you went a little overboard with the white. And that's the nice thing about this simple drawing is that it's really only two colors. So here you can see I've outlined her body and I'm outlining just the tips of that fish tail. And then I'm gonna come right back in with a thicker paint pen that's just a little easier for me to work with. If you didn't have a paint pen on hand, could absolutely do this with a white colored pencil, with an acrylic paint and paintbrush. Um, anything you've got on hand, I think you could make work. I luckily just grabbed my Sharpie, which is my go-to. Gives me a nice thick line. Poscas are really great too. I'm working my way down for that fishtail, thicker at the top, and then thinner, littler lines towards the bottom. And for her hair, it's just a wavy line that follows her head and her body that gets a little thicker at the bottom and a little bitty arm extending there. And it's the same thing on both sides. So now I'm going to go ahead and start with my design. For this one, I've chosen a 2016 cup. I am in love with the 2016 cups. So some little dots in the center and then it's a point set of flower, I believe. So it's just a pointed leaf shape. And I vary the sizes of the leaf shape. The next step is to do just the center line with the little bitty lines extending beyond it to fill in. This is where you can get real detailed and really just relax into your drawing and make your way around the cup, repeating the same pattern. I do add some little drops or dots around. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and start with just the flowers all the way around, varying the size of flowers. Some are little, some are big, medium sized ones. I do start with the center little dots first and then work my petal shapes around them. I do try to make sure that some go off the edge of the cup as though they're wrapping around and some go underneath the lid. The second step for me is I come back in and I do all of those center bits at once, all of the veining inside the leaves. Here's a nice time just to kind of relax. I, you could do this in front of the TV if you wanted to, slowly adding all those little bits and bobs to make your cup look nice and detailed. Next step is some bigger dots close into the flowers all the way around. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do some little bitty dots extending from the flowers. So then most will be around each flower and less and less as they you go beyond. So the cup has an uneven distribution of dots with most of them being around the flower is a pretty detail. And you can see that the cup really comes alive with all of these little bits. Then to add a last bit, I wanted to go ahead and really emphasize the center of those flowers. So I came back in with my thicker Sharpie pen so you could see those centers really pop out. Here you can see my finished cup in detail. And it was just a really calm, simple way to get something beautiful and detailed. This is a second cup from the 2016 cup collection. I'll go ahead and link my Pinterest page of cups for you to look at. A third one. This one I loved the candy canes on. And it's just the same concept where you're doodling with the, uh, the white paint pen. Loving this little reindeer here, again, the 2016 collection. Here I went a little off on my own. It still looks Christmassy to me, but I did my own design with Hello Kitty. Super love Hello Kitty. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had a lovely time and happy painting.